What did the nut say when it was chasing the other nut? I'm a cashew. <laughs> right, so hello again, everybody. Welcome back. If you get buffering on an Amazon Fire Stick, here's a few things you can try to fix it. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so first of all, let us know in the comment section down below, have you ever had problems with your Amazon Fire Stick buffering and what did you do to fix it? Right, so first off, on your Amazon Fire Stick, the first thing you want to try is, if you leave it plugged in, it never actually powers off, it only ever goes into sleep mode. So restarting it can make a massive difference. Now for anybody wondering, you can go across the settings on the far right hand side, and then go down to where it says My Fire TV. It may say device and software for you. Once you've clicked on that, you see an option there for restart. You can also use a shortcut on the remote as well by clicking the enter button and the play pause button. And if you long hold these at the same time, what you're going to see is after a few seconds, your Fire TV is turning off. So a very simple one, but it is something a lot of people aren't aware of with the Fire Stick powering off. Another thing you can do as well is reboot your router. This can also make a massive difference if you are getting buffering on your Amazon Fire Stick. The next thing you want to look at is when is buffering happening? Is it happening when you're using all apps on a Fire Stick or only when you're using side-loaded apps or what some refer to as dodgy? A good way you can test this is by going across to such as YouTube, opening it up and just trying to play some random videos. If you find that they play back fine, then the likelihood is it's these other apps that are the issue and not your Fire Stick. Now, another thing that can be helpful is when you're using a Fire Stick, there can be apps that are running in the background and using resources and slowing the Fire Stick down. So what you can do is go across to Find, so the magnifying glass there, and then go down and click on Search. And on here, just start typing in Background, and you'll see it there, Background Apps and Process List. Once you click on this, that's the app there. You're going to see it starts up like this. You scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on Got It. And this is a list of apps that are actually running in the background on my fire stick and to close them you can go down click on it click on for stop and back and then that'll fully close the app or you can go to the top click on close all apps click on for stop back and then it'll cycle through but obviously if you use a vpn you actually want to leave that one because that is an app that runs in the background it's just handy to know what are running but if you know what apps are running in the background and you know which ones you want to close fully is go across the settings of the far right hand side applications manage installed applications scroll down to an app that you want to close click on it you click for stop there so that's just another thing you can try another one is if you're using a vpn they can obviously still down your internet speeds now a couple of different things can factor into this such as what vpn are you using some people tend to use free ones but these servers are usually poor overloaded and really slow a vpn can help as well because your internet service provider can actually throttle your speeds or even block certain links and a vpn can bypass all of that and another thing you can do is if you go into settings inside the vpn it is that you use you're going to likely see something that says vpn protocol or call. I don't even know how to say that. You're going to get a few different options. If you're having a lot of issues using one certain protocol, you can actually try changing that and see if that fixes anything as well. And that VPN was IP Vanish. It's one I've used for a very long time and always worked well for me. If you want to check it out with a cracking deal, I will leave a link in the description down below. They are affiliated links, so we do get a bit of a commission. We're not going to be millionaires from it, but if you use my links, I want to say thank you very much. So that's just a few things you can try to stop buffering on an Amazon Fire Stick. There's other things as well that's going to play a part in it, but... They are a few of the obvious ones you can take a look at. And like I said, let me know in the comment section down below anything I haven't mentioned that other people might find useful. And I hope that video helped. Right, so that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. ta -da.